Good morning, travelers from Alpena, Michigan. We have this stuff right here that we picked up the other day that the kids have been begging us to eat and open. It's called Trinary Toast. Give me some! <laughs> so we're gonna do that, but we're also going down to the Marine Sanctuary, something or another, Museum in a way, way shipwreck place. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And we're also going to the Take 5 Deli because that is the Snow Dogs Vlogs uh, deli that their family owns for lunch. Then later on today, where are we going later on? We're going to Jess and Jamie's for dinner. Yes, and possible some swimming pool action. So that'll be fun. Let's get into this toast. So this is the cinnamon flavored one. Let's, uh, I have no clue what it is. Oh, it was for it was made for the miners to take into the mines because it wouldn't spoil. Ah. And why is there so much in here? Right. You can only buy it in these giant bags. Oh. It's like 27 pieces. <laughs> it's not 20. Yeah, oh wow, it, it is a lot. Save it for dinner. I think it's for 24. Lunch. All right. So a lot of people eat this with like toast or coffee. How about we eat it like, outside? Almost like a biscotti. Wait, like how about we eat it outside? With, so oh, with coffee or tea. Yeah, it's got cinnamon sugar on Maybe it. It's kind of hard. <laughs> you like it? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's very crunchy. Crunchy. Yeah. Beckett, you like it? Yeah? What does it taste like? Mm. <laughs> I cinnamon. Mean, cinnamon, oh. I definitely put milk mm. with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you dip it in milk. Kind of like a, like a hard, like a biscotti. Not as hard as a biscotti. Not as hard as a biscotti? No, biscotti's like super hard. Do they use butter to get the cinnamon and sugar to attach well, to it? I can't tell. If There's it wasn't butter made in, in a factory, yes. Mm. If you're making it at home. I'll it's like... Milk. Cinnamon toast. It's a cinnamon that's, toast. Man. That's hard. A crouton. A crouton. They, yes, that's the perfect texture. A giant cinnamon toast crouton. Yes, that is exactly what it is. It's a crouton. Oh yeah. Like the salad, the crunchy bread thing. Mm. Mm hmm. All right, y'all ready to go to the NOAA shipwreck museum heritage Maritime. sanctuary thing? Maritime Heritage Museum. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Let's go. This is the NOAA building at Thunder Bay. <laughs> Apparently you can go like scuba diving and snorkeling and all that kind of stuff to see the shipwrecks. Also read that there was a virtual diving thing you can do too. So I don't, I'm not too sure what to expect from here. Wait, there's a what? You left the man running again. <laughs> there's a virtual what? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I won't. I, it won't happen again. It works. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Use your muscles. Oh, wow. wow. We have not. Alright, so museum is free entry. Um, there's a donation box if you'd like to help us here, but um, there's no charge. Great. Thank you so much. Welcome. Have fun. Uh -huh. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, okay, what do you think this is? From what animal do you think this is? Probably the It's thick, thicker than I expected. Yeah. What's crazy? You see it from space. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here on. Do y'all offer like any kind of junior ranger or kids um, books to be able to have a, like an activity book? Okay, they might enjoy that. So they got like a little activity book for the kids to do, so hopefully that occupies them for a little bit. Learn anything new? Uh, yeah. Since I missed everything? <laughs> what are the children doing? They had like a scavenger hunt type of thing. Mm -hmm. So this is the first ship that was shipwrecked, which was actually the first ship in the Great Lakes because it was discovered by a French explorer and I got caught in a storm. This was back in 1679. So this is the eastern side of Michigan and all of these points are different shipwrecks. Look at this, this is insane. There's so many. I never knew that there were so many shipwrecks in this area. I mean, there's probably like 300, I would say, if I had to guess. So they have a model of some of the ships here. This one is the Pewitic. Pretty cool. Is this a safe that they found? That is crazy.
This is the same ship. Valuable copper cargo made it the target. So this right here is a replica of the Montana. There's another giant ship. 250 foot. That's crazy. There's a Sooner ship. The Cornelia Windigate. I love these models, all the details that they bring to them. Cool, this is back in 1875 that this thing went down and you can still see the remains of the ship in the water right here. That is so crazy. Okay, so this ship, the Isaac M. Scott, was caught in a white hurricane. I'm from Louisiana. I've never heard of a white hurricane before. I'm gonna assume that that's like a hurricane with snow mixed into it. I, I don't know, but that is a giant ship. Look at this thing, it's a freighter. Good God, it keeps going. It's huge. 525 foot. A perfect storm swept the Great Lakes as two major fronts converged to produce blinding snow squalls 35 foot high waves and 90 mile per hour wind gusts. That is crazy. Now I understand a white hurricane. So you can go into this giant replica right here. supposed to be like you're on the boat. This must be another sleeping quarters right here. I can't really see it. Let's go up. Test your sea legs. So they've shaped the ship so that it feels like you're kind of leaning one way, which is crazy. It's a crazy feeling. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> yeah, it's like you're underwater? Ah. Yeah, I went through the... Ah. <laughs> yeah. Thing over there. Wow. I know. This is crazy extensive. Okay, so this is the camera. This is the shipwreck. And this is the camera. And this is what the camera sees. Turn to see particles. Doesn't turn. Oh, turn. This way. This play area is pretty cool. Great idea. So the idea is that the kids are divers. That's why there's a big giant diver guy right there. And they can go diving through this whole area. And he's gonna take y'all into the tubes. <laughs> All right. Go on up. First you climb up these platforms. Whoa, and look, you can see all the shipwreck. What? You can see the shipwreck. See what this is. Science on a sphere. What really is people and as more people learn about what's going on, the more they seem willing to take action to protect the oceans and the planet. That's pretty cool. Another new place. You gotta find all some bunch of different things. Oh look, you can open the drawers. See all the stuff that they find from shipwrecks. Watch your fingers, okay? Ooh, propellers. This is cool. Whoa, what's that? It's, a, it's like a ship, um, like the name of the 
ship. Oh right? yeah, okay. It's a fun little double door elevator here. They have a gift shop here. We're gonna need to see if we can find a sticker for the tool. They've been working hard. No, we're not. Look. Oh, oh, you're right. No, that's it. You got it. I just finished watching a movie about shipwrecks and it was really interesting. And there's like an outside boardwalk thing that you can do here too, so we're gonna go check that out. Plus there's a few other movies that we probably won't be able to watch. <laughs> Might see if I can find them online though. So this is the roof space. You can rent kayaks to go out onto this river. I'm assuming that's what that is. And they also do boat tours here too. It's like a two to two and a half hour tour and you go to three different shipwreck sites. Do y'all have a sticker for this place? Um, no, we have a patch with a Noah patch, but it's not for the marine sanctuary. Okay. No, stickers. no stickers, yeah. Okay. They didn't have any stickers for this place, so we can't put one on the tool. Womp womp. You go! It's so fun! You're not gonna win, I'm gonna win! Oh, it's so tough! Oh no! Oh no! You're beating me! You beat me! Oh my goodness! I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna be the winner. Hey, you're getting in front of me. That's not fair. Don't get in front of me. Hey, hey, you little stinker. Uh oh, I'm winning now. I'm gonna get in front of you. I'm gonna get in front of you. <laughs> oh man, you won. I got tired. Jacques won. He was the fastest. <laughs> you won too. You were second fastest. We're gonna go to the Take Five Deli now for lunch. Deli, deli, deli. You ready? Yeah. What is it? A lunch. Third Avenue. Walk sign is on to cross. Third Avenue. Cross. Okay, we will do it. We will. We will. We will. Yes. We will. The three Fs. We have to do it. Oh, yes. Can't forget. I remember. I remember all of this. All right. How much does it cost here at your deli? Right. Uh huh. Fifty-one dollars and thirty-six cents. That's pretty good for five people. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, that's usually normal lunch. Yeah. All right, high five, staying under budget. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Accomplish the task! <laughs> if you guys don't know, this is Jess from Gone of the Snow Dogs. You want to tell them about your channel? I have a channel with dogs. Like a lot of dogs. Okay, maybe only three dogs. That's one of the dogs. This is one of the dogs. She's the favorite of the day, so she got to be on the shirt. Mm. That means she was good today. Ah. <laughs> There you go. So if you like dogs and y'all like to go like camping and traveling places and whatnot. And we make dog treats. Dog treats. All that fun stuff. Yes. Dog training tips. Yeah. Go check them out. I'll link them up below if y'all want to go and check them out. <laughs> this is their deli, their family deli here. So she took us here and we're going to see how what we get with this $51.36. You have dinosaurs on your shirt. Hey. Are you excited? <laughs> Did you see all the Star Wars stuff? You think Miss Jess built all those? Huh? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> what is this? What happened? There, there's two of these now. That soup did sound good. <laughs> so there's a soup that we want to try. $4.55 and we're going to break the budget here. <laughs> I hope not. Does it look good, Amelia? Yeah. Yeah. This is the soup. Chipotle soup? Chipotle chicken soup? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's good. 
but. I thought they would be so Ooh, that looks yummy. You got your own chips. <gasps> All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yummy. Three Fs. It was fast. It was fast. It was fast. Yeah, they were friendly. They were friendly? Yeah. Yeah, your family's friendly. Good, good. <laughs> filling. And yeah. filling? Yeah. Yeah, y'all full? Yeah. Good. I didn't even eat this. Wow. Yes. Meets the three Wait, Fs. Really. Oh. Was it frugal? Was it frugal? I don't know. Mom got that extra soup. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I got for you. <laughs> <laughs> you got this? You procured this? Just for you. Aww, yes. He's so sweet. <laughs> so let's see how much this is going to cost. Alright, $57.36. It's the cheapest it's been in a while. Alrighty, Nats were a success. We've got some fruit cut right here, and we're gonna go down to Jess and Jamie's house and do a little bit of swimming. And I'm so excited because the dogs are gonna be in the pool with us. <laughs> they are. Yes. Let's go swimming with some dogs. That might be a first for all of us. Our friends are here. Our friends are here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. The dogs are getting wet already. Hi. He's How are you? He's the wise old one like yes. you, Dad. That's right. Oh, he yes. knows. Yes. yes, you know. So I'm carrying around this plate of food, and like magic, these dogs just follow. <laughs> Let me go see what's over here. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Let me go see what's over here. Oh look, there's something over here. You got it, you win. <laughs> Come on. Time to eat. Click this video right here if you guys want to continue the adventure with us.